With more Ohioans out of work because of the economic impacts of the pandemic, the need for food distributions is skyrocketing. News 5's Jay Jarvis explains how local food banks are trying to keep up with the growing demand. Up over more. You're good. For hours, hundreds of people waited in lines on Black River Landing in Lorraine this afternoon for boxes of free food. Our cupboards are bare. Everybody wants their money and they want it now, you know, and at least very little left in the bank can't get stuff you need with no money. Bren Dunnigan lives with four other family members, and since the pandemic, it's been hard to make ends meet. Depressing, stressed out, anxious days, ready for it to be over with. Those feelings of hopelessness bringing her to today's distribution, organized by the Second Harvest Food Bank, of North Central Ohio. Not used to coming to a food bank. Samantha Flores, a manager with the food bank, says they've been hearing that a lot lately. Distributions that used to be about 75 families um, are now in the hundreds consistently. The food bank typically feeds around 85,000 families a year, but as those numbers at distributions increase, they're expecting to feed 95,000 just this month alone. So they're relying on food deliveries from various sources like the USDA, the Ohio Food Program, and the Ohio Agricultural Clearance Program. Food banks around the state are able to um, help farmers get that surplus pr product out of their fields. Um, and into the hands of community members. Flores says keeping up with the growing need is a worry for Second Harvest, but she says they have a plan for the long term. From the beginning, we've been viewing this as a marathon, not a sprint. We know that this will be around for, for a while, if not the COVID-19, then the economic impact. Um, of COVID-19. Second Harvest Food Bank is not accepting food donations from the public, but they are encouraging people to make monetary donations. We have information on how you can do that on our News 5 app. In Lorraine, Jay Jarvis, News 5.